We're following breaking news out of Ontario this morning. The province has smashed its record for daily COVID-19 cases, adding 1,855 new infections. The previous single-day record was set earlier this week. That was 1,589. The province also reported that 20 people died. 58,000 tests were completed in the last 24 hours, another daily record. With that in mind, I want to bring in infectious disease specialist, Dr. Isaac Bogach. Doctor, this does not sound good. Um, are we seeing this jump because more people were tested? Uh, it's hard to know. It's really hard to know. But certainly expanding diagnostic testing will capture more cases. That is probably a major component of what we're seeing, but it might not be the only component of what we're seeing. And we still have to be careful to look at seven day averages, trends over time, uh, instead of uh, an individual daily case count. Having said that, when we do more tests and we lower barriers to diagnostic testing, we're going we're gonna to find more cases. And I think that should be acknowledged as well. What's interesting is the percent positivity is is going to be a very helpful number here. And not only are we going to track the number of daily new cases, uh, and not only are we going to track the seven-day average, but also look at the percent of positive cases as well. So of all the tests done, what percentage of those are positive? And when we combine all those metrics and a few others, it'll paint a more holistic picture of how we're doing in the province. Okay, after cases come ICU admissions and then deaths. Is, is that a concerning number then to you when we see 20 people have died today? Oh, oh, oh yeah, it, it absolutely is. It's, it's, it's really sad. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm currently working on the COVID ward of Toronto General Hospital at, the, at this moment. And, you know, we're, we're seeing this as are many healthcare providers all around the province and the country. And, uh, you know, still we're hearing uh, some people underplaying this virus and not taking it seriously. But but it's serious. I mean, when you see case numbers like that, we know some people are going to land in hospital. We know some people are going to land in the ICU. And we know some people are just not going to make it. We have to do better to get those numbers down and keep them down. And now we've got Black Friday. People are out shopping today. There'll be holiday shopping. Some people out of um, where they live in Toronto and Peel, no doubt, will be traveling to other neighboring towns and cities. Um, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I would say that should be discouraged. And there's always going to be some people who are going to do it. And, and quite frankly, at the end of the day, are we going to see a major spike in cases because of this? Ah, probably not, as long as people adhere to fundamental public health principles. Again, if you live in a region under re certain restrictions, you should stay in that region and abide by those restrictions. But we know there's going to be some people that aren't going to do that. But, uh, you know, the places that are open. Uh, in general, I think, are pretty decent adhering to these public health measures. Most people are wearing masks properly. Most stores uh, are, are really doing good crowd control. Uh, within the stores, people are pretty mindful about physical distancing. Is it a perfect 100% of the time? No, of course not. But it's, in general, I think it's, it's pretty reasonable. And I think we're doing okay on that front. Okay. Dr. Bogach, thanks so much. Have a good weekend, a safe weekend. We'll see you, you next well. week.